Hi everyone, it's me Sandy. I'm the Thrifty Grandma and I have a haul here. Um, I usually wasn't going to, I usually don't do one on Fridays and Saturdays. I usually try to keep it around Sundays, but we're going to have our granddaughter this afternoon till tomorrow and uh, yeah, it's best I get this done, get the items put away, or she'll like to kind of snoop around in them. And there are some things that she'll think is candy, which it's not. It's for DIYs. So it's just easier. Uh, today is November 1st. Um, beautiful sunny day. Um, living where we do in a retirement uh, complex, we don't have uh, really any trick-or-treaters, but there are uh, five, five ladies or so. In the complex that uh, come around and they just love it because they get a full-size candy bar from me so okay I'm gonna get onto the haul so what it was I was on the look yesterday for um, wool I wanted the Christmas green and the Christmas red well the first um, thrift store I went to Bibles for missions I was shocked they wanted four dollars for a skein which was not even a full one of wool, and it was thin, it wasn't the thicker yarn, $4. Like, who is pricing this stuff? Like, they had items in there um, that the Dollar Tree sells for $1.25, and they were selling for two fifty. dollars Like, I don't know who's uh, responsible for pricing. I gotta take a sip, you guys. I'm on Town Hall Threes right now, and uh, it dries my mouth out. So, cheers. So anyway, while I was in there, I wasn't just gonna walk out. I was gonna look. So I did see some things that I thought, well, yeah, I can use it. Plus, I was on the look for a few other things. So anyway, for now, I gotta make sure I get this straight. Which one is which? So. That one goes over there. So, okay. So what I got in um, Bottles for Mission was I was wanting candlesticks. They didn't have any, but I thought this one will do to make a little tiered tray. And because it has the X on it, uh, it's 25 cents. So I got this one for 25 cents. So that's not bad. They're $1.25 in the Dollar Tree. So yay, I saved some money there. I wanted a dictionary because I want it for doing um, paper crafting. And uh, hubby found me one. It's hard to find a dictionary with nice size print. They're all so small. I wanted one that, you know, a person can read without a magnifying glass. So I got the Reader's Digest um, reverse dictionary. But Reader's Digest, I, uh, it's only for a couple words. But if you look at the print, it is nice. It's a nice size font and it can be read. So I needed... This just to do, um, like I say, paper crafting, put it on tags and that. So lots of words I can use. Sad thing is probably I only use maybe two pages out of it. So I might return it. Who wants Z words anyway, right? Okay, I wanted an atlas. I wanted some maps. And Hubby was with me and he found this one. I didn't want um, a huge big book of them. Oh, here we go. Here's my list of items I got. Yeah, and uh, that was, oh, that was $2 for that. This one was $2. And um, yeah, it's got some nice maps in it, but it's also got, uh, see the smaller ones, which is again for, uh, you know, putting on tags and paper crafting and that. Ephemera is that. That, and then I got some music sheets, paper, oh, and 50 cents. I needed some for music. I wanted music, like scores and that. And uh, so, again, use was a paper punch. So I just wanted, you know, the music notes and that for paper punch. And this one I kind of liked because it's all in the bars like that. So I like that because that can be used in edging and all kind of stuff. So that's what I got there for a total of, uh, oh no, and I got this one too. Yes, I got this. I wanted a candle holder and they didn't have any in the Dollar Tree because I went to the Dollar Tree first. Didn't have any of the short ones. So I got a long one. Not only that, 
we'll be using it for exercise. So I got what, 450 for that, but it is metal. And look at the size of that. And that's pretty, like a column. And that's gonna be, I'm gonna chalk paint that. And, but that, oh, that's heavy, my poor arm. So I got four, so that, all that came to 1064 from um, uh, the Bible's for Mission for those items. Then I went to another thrift store and I've never been in this one. And I don't even know when it opened. It's just an area that I don't really go around. It's where our tire place is. And I noticed it and I said to hubby, let's go in there. <clears throat> just on the off chance they have wool. Well, they had lots of wool, but none in the red and the green. But their prices were only like $2, $1.50. They had some wool for 75 cents, wrong colors. But I did pick up a few things there. So what I got was, I got some stickers. And this little bag here was 25 cents. Whoops, that's a daisy. And 2007, I think that's passed. But, uh, yeah, look at these. See, that can go with the maps. Cute. So those are cute little stickers. And again, a couple of world globes. And this is, oh, we're up to 2009 now, but each of those words, I can snip those apart or, you know, do whatever with them. And then, uh, oops, see, these little ones. But here we go, there's a map one. And, uh, what does it say? First grade. But I can use it in, you never know, in some sort of paper craft. So those were 25 cents for those ones. And then for 50 cents, I got these. And they're actually um, like a see-through. They're really pretty. They don't, like the silver... It's just a real light silver, but they don't, there's not the white paper backing on them. So they are like a clear um, sticker and it says happy birthday. And then there's all these little roses on the side of them. That was 50 cents. And then this one was 50 cents and it is roses with bumblebees. But again, they are just the clear. Like, they're really actually quite pretty. So 50 cents. Then my my facial pain syndrome is acting up again. It's I got another flare up and it's quite painful. You get quite a burn in in these muscles. What it is is my facial pain syndrome is attacks the fibers of the muscles, and I also have fibromyalgia. But this is really like it hurts. So heat is one of the best things. And um, for dollar fifty, I got a rubber water bottle um and it looked like it was new like like brand new had never been used so i'm gonna try that at night rather than go buy heating pad i thought i'll just try a hot water bottle then something caught my eye and i couldn't believe it because my dollar tree i went in yesterday they didn't have any but they did have the candlesticks for 50 cents in this store but the funny thing is there's no no place to stick a candle. It's just like a slight groove, but that's okay because these are gonna be used for the my tiered trays. So I got three of them. And then these were a dollar each. They're party light brand. And I got two of them, but uh, they kind of, I don't know what the green, but I can always chalk paint them if I don't want that color. So that's what I got from oh, the thrift store or those two thrift stores. Still didn't get any wool, but I'll keep trying. There's a, we have quite a few other uh, thrift stores in town, so I'll just uh, try them out. I'm just gonna move this stuff here. Then I, I had stopped actually at Dollar Tree first, and there's no rhyme or reason to this stuff. I'll just grab it. Oh. Oh, this is, a, this is glass here, this one here. I picked up just a simple vase, but that can be used for a good good sized tier if you want. You use it for a vase. You can, I'm gonna chalk paint it and distress it. I love chalk paint. I love paint. Okay, no rhyme or reason to this. I got the little tin. 
with the red truck and the camping trailers, the cute little flags. Oh, I have a squirrel out on my, oh, you little bugger. He has a peanut. Someone is feeding the squirrels. We're not allowed to feed peanuts to squirrels because it attracts rats. We have rats. We have a, uh, a mini, like a, what's it called? A, just a mall in behind our place. And there's a save on there and a couple uh, restaurants. And there's usually mice and rats. So I got this little one. So that's adorbs. Picked up, did I get two of these? No, I got three. These trees, I, I may not use them all this year, but I like to have them. They're awesome to put in little miniature gardens, fairy gardens, summer gardens, winter gardens, whatever you want to put them in. How cute are these little tags? They all have bells on them. And uh, I thought the grandkids would get a kick at having a little bell on their gifts. Got this for the motorhome. How fitting is that, right? And also for my map. I might even keep it and do something with it for the maps. Not sure, but I want to do something with the world. And that's why I got the maps too. I went in that direction. Okay, this is what I wanted to get rid of before my granddaughter came. I picked up these and they're for crafts. And um, you'll be surprised what I'll be using this for. Like this little cane. Oh, is it a cane? I don't know. Candy cane, I guess. So I got four of those because when I wanted them last year, by the time I wanted them, there were none around. And... Uh, so yeah, picked up a red and oh, the summer or the Christmas red and green. Um, I used all my red up, so I thought, well, better get some and have it on hand. Did you know us crafters need to have our stash? I love pine, spruce, fir, oak, any kind of tree, and I love the scents. And this one. It is really, it smells like you're in the forest. And this is the uh, winter pine, uh, 85 grams, but it's a, it's a nice size. And it's, I like the, the shape of the container. That would fit really nice in a uh, tiered tray. And it's by Lumen. What else does it say? Anything interesting that you'd want to know about? Made in Vietnam. But it is very nice. I recommend. Now, I haven't burnt it, so I don't know what the throw is, but I find sometimes candles, if they're just left out, there's enough of a scent that comes off of them to kind of be noticeable. So oftentimes I just have candles sitting out and I don't have them uh, burning. However, the, the oils usually dissipate. Friend of mine is really witchy. She ha She puts the witch on the on the uh, broom on her Facebook throughout the whole year at different times. So jokingly, I said to her, kind of a few months ago, I said, you know, you know how I said how there's the red hat society, there should be a witch hat. And I saw this, that suits her to a T. So I'm going to uh, give that to her in her little Christmas stocking. And because I think it's just so cute and it suits her. And then the last two items that I got, again, I didn't want Everly seeing these. There's a unicorn, and look at the little llama. Oh, these are so cute. And they're pens, and oh, you know, I didn't even check the ink on them. I'm, sh I'm not, I hope it's black and not pink ink. Oh, it's got little, it's got little protectors on there. Well, I'll just leave it. I want to give things to her that are new. And this is going to go, yeah, it'll go in her art kit. But <laughs> it goes so cute. And they're like a little rubber uh, material. So that's my haul from Dollar Tree. Oops, this cap one's going to go. There we go. And that was from Dollar Tree. And before I go on, I need a sip. Mm. Now, I was surprised because on... Yesterday afternoon, 
Hubby, excuse me, went to check the mail and there was a parcel for me. Oh, I love parcels. And I didn't know right away who it was from. I thought it was Amazon because I've been ordering stuff from Amazon lately and from AliExpress, but it seemed heavy. And then when I saw this, I thought, mm-hmm, I know who that's from. It's from Vanessa's, from Vanessa, from Classy Crafting and Parcels. And it came in the mail. And I'm excited. And Vanessa's a real sweetie. I've known Vanessa since before I started my channel. In fact, it was her and Cher from um, Crafty Cher Cupcakes that, uh, those two girls it's because of them that I actually um, decided to do a YouTube channel so those are my two what do they call them my two senseis I feel like that little guy that takes lessons from them what's his name in that in those Chinese movies cricket no oh well whatever it is I'll be the little cricket so Vanessa I'm going to say you shouldn't have, but I'm glad you did, because I love parcels. Oh, that's a nice box, too. Okay, and she has it labeled, The Sandy and Little Grandchildren. Oh, for my little grandkids. Oh, should I wait to open it with them? Mind you, I don't want to put them on camera. Um... Just a safety thing, right? Yeah. I think I'll just open it and... Uh... Oh, what a nice box. Oh, it's in a, from a tea box. She must have got David's tea. There's a card. Merry Christmas. Oh, she must have made that. Look at the owl. Oh, it's a Christmas package. I'm going to open it. Who can wait till Christmas, right? <laughs> Look at that hedgehog. Perfect in a miniature garden. Oh, he's cute. I better put this knife away before I stab myself oh pretty um washi tape in the red and the green oh that pretty oh she sent me some of this oh i can't find it the white in my place oh that is nice oh i keep looking i'm hoping to be able to find it how nice to trim um Pillows with that. Oh, another little figurine. Look at that. I think I'm just going to have to make myself a, um, my own fairy garden and put some of these precious little items in it. Okay. Little sister. Okay, that's for Haley. And Everly. Okay, Vanessa, I won't open their items. I will let them open it and I'll tape them from behind so that their faces aren't shown. Oh my goodness, look at this! It's a night light. And we always have one on in our um, TV room. Oh, that's cute. Whoa. That is sweet. So sweet. <coughs> to Miss Sandy. Oh, you're sweet. Isn't this fun, you guys? I love, 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 love parcels. Yeah, she sent me some David's tea, which I, I love their stuff. Oh, African mint green tea. Forever nuts. 
fruit. This one is cold 911 herbal infusion. Heat colds, sleigh ride, promenade, and cappuccino. Oh, a cappuccino. I like those. Oh, these are nice. Thank you. Goes on my jacket. A lapel brooch. That will go in my purse. The Nivea. I, my hands don't get overly dry, but I still do get dry hands at every once in a while because I use a lot of the, um, you know, that gel, that cleansing gel after I've been in stores and that to clean my hands. So, and that does dry your hands out. And a little notebook. These come in handy in my purse. I always have one in my purse and a pen because when I'm with the grandkids, when we go to restaurants, the best thing to keep them quiet is get them to print out the alphabet, print out colors that we see in the restaurant, draw items that we see. So thank you, That that is a nice thing to have in my purse. Oh, for the little one. Oh, Vanessa, that's so sweet of you. That's really sweet. I just want to make sure that this is for Everly. I'm just to make sure there's no kid's name on here. The kids are going to love you. They're going to love you. They love parcels. Mold and make mini snacks. Oh, really? Mini fun snack food from Softy Play-Doh. Well, won't that be fun when they're over here? Actually, Everly will be here tomorrow, or today, staying till tomorrow. She, and she'll sit and play for hours with Play-Doh. Oh, that came out a perfect time. Thanks, Vanessa. Yeah, she always asks me, can we do a craft, Nana? Of course we can, sweetie. Oh, look at this. We'll do this one too. She just loves, loves, loves. Now we cannot let the little three-year-old around anything. Um, you should see what she did to their carpet in the playroom. She climbed on their couch. So first of all, she stood on the arm of the couch. Then she went onto the back of the couch. Then she put a foot up on this four um, shelf unit on there and she reached up and she grabbed a box and she took it down and in it was an a ink pen making craft kit that Everly had gotten for her birthday or Christmas or whatever. And Haley took all the inks out and well she played with them. There is pink and red or red and purple and green and yellow and orange big spots of dye, ink dye in their carpet that they can't get out. I have to really watch that little turd. Oh, so see, now Haley would do this well under supervision. She would have, she would have fun with that. Maybe I'll take some of this up tomorrow after we take um, Everly home, and I'll sit and do a craft session with both the girls. Oh, look at, oh, look at that, Vanessa. This must be your little sister. Vanessa was a um, Minnie Mouse for Halloween. She had this huge big bow on her head. It looked really cute. Thank you, my dear friend. I really, really, really appreciate it. And just the thought of my grandchildren in there, it just makes it, you so much more precious. Thank you for your friendship. Thank you for your support. And I will link Vanessa's channel down below so you can check her out. She does awesome DIYs. She loves to shop and she always takes us on these little shopping tours of Dollarama, which is Canadian, Dollar Tree Canadian. She'll go to Michael's, she'll do Costco. Um, you get to watch her clean her beautiful home. Um, you get to see her little dog bear. She's just a genuine, loving, nice person. So on that note, you guys, I got to find my pooper. Oh, here it is. I got to get this all put away because we're going to be leaving in just over an hour to go get Everly. We're going to take her to the Lion King, to the movie, then out for an early supper. Then she comes to our house and I'm going to leave this out because she can do some crafting here with me. 
And um, then tomorrow, my other daughter-in-law, which is Christy's auntie, is going to come pick her up around between 12 and 2 after Christy gets off work. And then she's going to take a bunch of nail stuff, art and nail polish and that over to the kids. And she's going to give them a little uh, manicure at their house. So, these kids are well loved. These little girlies are well loved. So on that note, I thank you all very much for your support. And if you're just new that you've just kind of wandered in and taken a stop and a look, I welcome you to be a subscriber. And um, don't forget to click that little subscribe button and right beside it, the little alarm button that will give you an alert every time I post a video. Pull up a chair, wrap a blanket around yourself and stay a while. And on that note, I'll see you guys at the next video.